Hello, my name is Mrs Ward and I'd really like to talk to you about the option available for Year 8 students wishing to study food at Key Stage 4. We've opted to teach the WJEC Level 1 and 2 award in hospitality and catering because we believe it offers two things to our students. Firstly, it allows them to learn about employment opportunities within the hospitality and catering industry, but it also provides them with the opportunity to learn to cook and to improve their practical skills. The course of vocational qualification as opposed to a GCSE and as such will allow students to move on to further industry standard qualifications if they choose this as a career path. The hospitality and catering industry is the fourth largest in Britain and it provides many job opportunities particularly for young people. The industry includes uh, restaurants, hotels, pubs, fast food, cruise ships, tourist attractions and also non-commercial catering providers like hospitals and schools. The course has been designed to equip our young people with the knowledge and understanding they need uh, to work in the vocational sector but also a grounding in practical cookery skills and as you can see from the text in red on this slide there are a whole range of different um, job opportunities available to students who wish to continue studying uh, this area. Some of those jobs may well be things that are outside of the hospitality and catering industry such as working in food journalism, working in sports science because there's a heavy emphasis on nutrition in the course, working in food marketing or working in the environmental health service. Uh, as you can see from the slide that despite the fact that it's a vocational course uh, there is also a big practical element which I know some of our students will be really pleased to hear. The students will learn to cook safely and to develop their practical skills, their techniques and use different pieces of equipment. They'll also look at the functional ingredients uh, in recipes and develop their understanding of good nutrition and of healthy eating uh, and they will learn to cook complete appealing healthy dishes. In addition to that they'll do the study on the hospitality and catering industry and the job roles and the different types of equipment within that industry um, and even if they don't want to follow a pathway um, in their career towards hospitality and catering um, there are lots of general employability skills that we cover in this area which will be uh, just as applicable to them there. The assessment of the course is in two parts. Unit one uh, is the theory based unit which covers the hospitality and catering industry. Uh, this is, my, this is uh, a 90 minute exam which is taken in the summer of year 11 and it contributes 40% of their final grade. Um, it covers these five areas, understanding the environment of hospitality and catering, so that's looking at all the different businesses that it includes, understanding uh, how those provisions operate, so the techniques and methods that they use, looking at health and safety requirements, looking at food safety and how food can cause ill health, and also looking at how you would go about setting up a catering provision to meet a specific group of people's needs. The Unit 2 is a non-exam assessment, so that's internally assessed by the teacher and externally moderated by the exam board. Um, there is a practical examination within this. The whole thing is a nine hour um, project and three hours of that is a practical exam. Um, the other six hours is the research and planning towards the dishes that the students will cook and they'll be required to cook and serve two complete dishes with accompaniments and this contributes the other 60% of the final grade. Um, as you can see the grading for the course is not numeric as in GCSE but it does still co cover the same range of point scores available as the GCSE subjects. Um, these are the kinds of dishes that students could hope to be producing um, as part of their non-examined assessment. Uh, as you can see they are full full dishes presented as they would be if they were served in a restaurant. So this course is a platform. When students have completed it, they could go on to catering college or train in apprenticeships in the hospitality and catering industry. Um, the industry requires a high number of employees and it would give students the opportunity to work locally, uh, nationally or all the way around the world. So that just leaves me to say if you have any further questions about the course please don't hesitate to drop me an email and the address is on the slide that you're looking at now. Thank you.